Awesome. And up next, let's talk about forms in React. And we're going to start working in this folder. So we're going to go to 06 forms, and we'll start with the first file. However, since I want the examples to look somewhat nice, we'll spend the first video just by setting up the form with some classes and labels and all that. Now, if you're not interested in doing that, just navigate to the readme, look for controlled inputs, and basically copy and paste this content. So this component copy and paste and set it up in the controlled inputs. Essentially, that's going to be the first step. No, don't worry, we're not going to do that pretty much for every file. I believe we have over here, five of them. So essentially, in the next videos, we'll just reuse this nice looking form. So first, I want to navigate to app JSX, like I said, we're looking for 06 forms, then starter, and then controlled inputs. So that's what I have on the screen. Now let's navigate over here. And effectively, we just want to set up a form. And if you're wondering where the classes are coming from that I'm about to use, well, they're located over here. So if you look here in this file, let's say if we search for class of form, you'll see these styles and then same goes for label input and all that. So if you're interested, of course, you can navigate over there and see what styles I'm setting up. So let's go over here in the controlled inputs, we'll remove the heading two, and effectively we're going to return a form. We'll add right away a class of form as well. Inside of it, let's place a heading four and let's say controlled input. So that's going to be our first topic. After that, I want to set up a div with a class of form row. And you can think of it as a divider. So it's just going to add some nice margin. So let's go here with div. Let's add a class of form row. And then inside of it, first, let's set up a label. Again, it's just a HTML thing. And notice over here, it's going to give this HTML four. So that's the HTML attribute by the name of four. And you add that to the label. And then once you click on the label, then it nicely sets the input in the focus. And you'll see once we set it up how it works. So in here, we want to provide the ID. So whatever ID we're about to set up on the input. So I know that my one is going to be named. So of course, I'm going to set this one up as name, then we want to type the text inside of the label. And you know what, there's one thing missing, and that is the class. And for that, we want to go with form and label, so then we want to go with that input. And we'll start with the most basic one, the text input. So let's go over here. Let's look for text name for now. Let's leave it blank because I want to show you what is going to be the use case. So for now, let's not worry about it. But yes, eventually we will use it. And in here we want to go with name. So again, these two need to match. And in React, it's HTML4. In normal HTML, it's going to be just a four attribute. And we do want to add here a class. So we'll go with class name, and that is going to be form input. Let's save it. And this is what we should see on the screen. And again, if these two match, then basically what happens notice, once you click on a label, it nicely sets the focus for the input. And since I also want to set up one for password or email, sorry, password is coming up. For now, let's just go with email and we want to change those values. So everywhere where I have the name, I'll set it up as email. And as far as type, yes, it's also going to be an email. So let me select over here. Let me go to email. Let's save that. Okay, we have the second input. And lastly, let's just add that submit button as well. So for that, we want to go with button, then we want to go with type and submit. And in here, let's go with class name BTN again, global button class. And then we want to go with BTN block, which just stretches that button to the size of the container in this case form. And as far as the text, I'm going to go with submit. Let's save that. And we're pretty much good to go. So this is going to be our setup for the remaining videos in this section. And of course, in the next video, we'll set up the functionality. For now, we just have a good 
looking for.